it's windy as fuck and we're on our way to our broth on the cub. Today is the 21st, which is the longest day, 21st of June. And um, we're going, I'm going to go for a meet with some of the guys who were at the rally and a few other folk. Um, in remembrance of John Stanley, who unfortunately was, uh, he was involved in an accident and passed away on the way home, on his way home from the rally. So that's where I'm going. But it's only right that I uh, take the cab. <laughs> John's favoured mode, mode of transport was his 107cc engine Honda 90. Which he travelled all over on. Yeah, John done... Well, he came to the rally a couple of times on his Honda 90. He, uh, he used to do this some sort of photo rally, but he, would, he, he loved photography as well. So he would travel around pretty much wild camping. But John was 76 when he, when, he, when he died, so he was he was no spring chicken. And he would still be wild camping, going around taking all these photos as part of this photo rally. I think it was at the photo rally of Great Britain and the photo rally of Ireland. So it's Brian that's organising this uh, this run in memory of John. I really wish it was me that was organising it because I'd have made it closer to Mabbit. So Brian's, uh, I think he's near Blair Athol or, or Pit Lockery or somewhere. So he's arranging it for. I can't even remember where the fuck we're going. He's arranging it for. Come on, Brain. Where is it? Where am I going? This is going to be no fucking use. Our broth. That's it. He's arranged it for our broth, which is like a wee coastal town north of Dundee. But that means I've got to get myself through Edinburgh and Dundee. So if John was here, he'd be, uh, he'd be calling me a fucking drama queen. He used to slap me off because I hate the bypass. I especially hate the bypass on this. So I've got to do only a little, a little section, but it's fucking terrifying. Because people on the bypass can't drive. Usually they're really, really slow though, so even with a top speed of 50 odd mile an hour, I can keep up with traffic. This is a bit of fucking hate. There's definitely something, uh, there must be an accident or something. This is the Edinburgh City Bypass in roughly rush hour. It's the last place I want to be. And you have to watch filtering on this tiny little because this will be like I'll be pretty much invisible on the 190. Let's see. Folk leaving big gaps like that. You really need to be careful because people just jump into the gap without paying attention. Mikey, how do you think you'd cope with this? <laughs> oh. Sometimes there's there's not even anything happened, it just slows down and a bit straight and we're, that's where we just were. I don't know why. I would have thought it would have been too early for the, the bypass traffic, so there must have been something happened. I'm going to jump in here behind this. That's the Pentlands. And the white thing you can see on it is the ski slope. It's a dry ski slope. Great way to break your fingers, that thing. So because this is the longest day, it shouldn't really be dark, even when we're coming back home. Because we will be quite late. This is lethal not having the performance of a normal bike. Fucking hell. Just in case you think I exaggerate how bad drivers are at the bypass, this is me in the overtaking lane. Try, genuinely trying to get back in, but I was passing stacks of people. <laughs> I 
and as we flat out and you know you're staying with traffic these guys are ready to be doing 70 and I know it's the limit and but if you're not doing 70 you should be in there why, why is that guy driving there? fucking madness so it's actually not too bad because down the bottom of this hill is, uh, is a 50 zone anyway so that's me fly out and then we get to 40s and then we hopefully can get over the fourth road bridge if we can't I have to do the Queen's Ferry crossing which legally may, legally I'm allowed to do but I just don't think it'd be very very safe <laughs> it's nearly 60 it is screaming Good God, did you hear that? That was this bike backfiring. We pipe must be absolutely roasted. It was a proper bang! More fucking crazy, uh, crazy traffic. Oh. What the fuck? This traffic's fucking crazy. Thanks. Look, I'm, gen I'm genuinely surprised. It's been that long since I've been in. It's been literally, apart from the few times I've stuck it out on the way back for bike trips on the bypass, this is the first time I've been in rush hour traffic for years. Look at this cunt. That's not what they were trying to do. I think they're trying to block me. I'll get past them. Yeah, I'm not going to under you, truck, don't worry. There we are. Cheers, bud. So I've made it through Edinburgh. And now on my next big challenge. Well, we'll cross the fourth road bridge, hopefully. And then it's at the Fife. The dark lands of Fife. Now you really have to be careful in Fife because Fifers, some of them have got this ability that will, some of them have got a really long arm and a really strong arm. So they'll grab people with a long arm, pull them in, and crush up most of the air out of them with their strong arm. And then they dislocate their jaw and uh, they can eat, you can eat like a sheep hole, probably a small person hole, and then they just like sort of sick up the bones like a snake. It's fucking terrifying. So I'm hoping I don't get eaten by a fifer. That's that's quite, quite a worry. Drew's a fifer now, so I'm hoping the sort of language and sort of culture stuff he taught me will, will see me through. Oh, teeny! That's some of the stuff they say. You can never tell how many there are because they, uh, they walk in single file to hide their numbers. Great a view. So that's the Queen's Ferry Crossing, Fourth Road Bridge, and the red one just behind those trees is the Fourth Bridge. The sort of famous one the trains go over. No, it's not called the Fourth Rail Bridge, it's just the Fourth Bridge. Don't know which fucking lane I should be in here. I think it's this. It's me up to 125cc. I'm an authorised vehicle, I think. There's somebody's shoe. A Pfeiffer's got them up to 125cc. Good grief. Service road on the left. Eh? I don't know what that means. Am I allowed over here or not? This is confusing as fuck. Check it out. <laughs> Check that big fucking cruise ship. 
So that's the fourth bridge. And that's the Queen's Ferry Crossing. This is Ace. This is the way I told John to come up on the way up to the rally with other guys in the car. So I don't know if he did or not. I can't remember if I asked him. But I hope he did because it's like quite a unique view these days. You know, not many people can drive over. Jesus! <laughs> it's a big bump. Not many folk can drive over the, the fourth road bridge anymore because it's, uh, it's actually fallen apart. So it's just for buses, taxis and pedestrians now, I think. I'm really tempted to stop for a photo, although I know I'd get, get a bollock in. There'll be people monitoring, <laughs> people monitoring the, the cameras to, for road safety. There's some fuck with stop taking photos. He's on a Honda 90, fuck's sake. Back in the day, uh, the, the Edinburgh side, there used to be tolls. So you used to have to pay a pound to get across here. Bikes were always free. And then, fuck, that was like before. I remember having to stop on my CB500 and maybe my ZRX. So in my early 20s, the, uh, the government abolished the charge. Quality. So this is the bit where I don't know where I'm going. Really, like, I don't have a fucking clue. I know it's that direction. And that's about all I know. He's clearly a commuter rather than a, a biker. No thanks. I'll shake my fist at you. You bastard. You should have said thank you and waved. He didn't wave! Fuck me! He's on a small bike as well and he didn't wave! The internet's going to have a meltdown. I better catch him up and tell him. Oh, yeah, fucker. He's in for a fright. He fucking jumped that red light as well. The boy's a hazard. All right, it fucking stinks here. <laughs> fucking Honda 90, man. Trust it to shit its pants. And the one moment I needed to go. Terrified. Long arm, long arm shots. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm that scared. Long arms, strong arms. will probably pop out and get me. I bet they hang bodies for that bridge. Oh, that's a murderer's van. Fife isn't actually that scary. There's, there's even, there's even some nice bits. I just need to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Nice bits of Fife. Look. If it wasn't for this golf right up my arse, despite I've been over the fucking speed limit. Well, we're past, we're past then. Christ, I think I just had a wasp or a fly or something at my lid. Terrifying. I need to stop somewhere, my arse is fucking killing me. That's one thing, I don't know how the hell John managed to do the miles he did on his Honda 90 because his seat was... It was like a fucking old pillow, it was absolutely fucked. I remember sitting on it, I used to say to him, how can you sit on this? What's wrong with it? Jeez, oh. He must have done arse like an old pair of boots. Right, I need to stop and stretch my fucking legs. I was just stretch, stretch. Need to stop and stretch my arse. Don't want to be doing that at the side of the road. Oh, fuck me. Oh. So I stopped and asked the woman some directions, or well, four directions, and it looks like I'm going the right way. So 
through here, Loch Kelly, uh, Carden Den, Cowden Beath, and then I should get to Blen Rothis, and then follow the signs to Cooper, where Smiley is probably long gone, and then from Cooper, I'm heading to Dundee, <laughs> then our broth. Jesus Christ, daft fifers. Some of you might think they were just trying to clock across the road, but I think they were going to try and eat me. Those two hills over there, they're the Paps of Fife. You can see them from his low then. I don't know what that tower thing is, but... I like Fife Phallus. I don't really know, maybe it's something to do with potatoes. I think I might take the main road on the way back. Because when it's not rush hour, or rush hours, it should be much safer, or much quieter anyway, so... A bit better for me. I have no fucking idea where I am. Not a single, not a single clue. Well, I was trying to avoid the joke out of Dre, but fuck it. I've got a new microphone, so I'm hoping the sounds uh, even better than last time. It's a Senna microphone actually designed to be used in a helmet. Let's see what the fuck's going on here. And behind me... T Bridge. Straight over. What's in that backfiring? Fuck me. That's nice here. I've taken the turn off for Cooper because Smiley is at Cooper Bikes. Plus, hopefully, there's a petrol station there. <laughs> we are wringing the fucking neck of the C90. I'm beginning to wonder what the people of Fife run their fucking vehicles on. I've not seen a single petrol station. None. We are in Cooper. Home of Cooper Motorbikes, where Smiley was getting sand done to his V-Strom. Don't know where he is now, but he might still be at uh, Cooper, so we're in nip it and see. Otherwise, we'd have just carried straight on up that uh, main road. I just got a message from Smiley. He's, uh, he's no longer at Cooper Bikes. <laughs> it's six o'clock. I'm fucking starving. This is the T Bridge. I'm going up there to the right. That's Dundee over there. I'll be honest with you, there's nicer places to visit. There's a fancy building, I can't remember what it's called, I want to call it Vivola Crolla, but that's an Italian del delicatessen. <laughs> the V&A? The v fuck knows. I'll be honest with you, this little bit here actually reminds me of Maiden Maid in, in Holland. I'm hiding. If I said we're in Holland, they'd probably say, ah, oh, it's quite nice here. It's all right, a bit different. <laughs> Stundee's a fucking shithole. Right. Uh, where am I heading to? It's not Aber Liver. Our broth, our broth, there we go. That's where we're going. These guys are going to be very embarrassed if I see any passes them. Set some miles to our broth. No 
danger of me passing that beamer. I'm here. This is this is our this is our broth. Town centre. I didn't even put the fucking one. Was <laughs> the backfires. Cheers, man. That's so good. <laughs> you don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> wow. So here's the old John. That was uh, had a Brian brought brought some of a uh, booze-free beer, which was good. So we raised a a beer to John. So it was good to to see all the guys there. Me and Duke are now heading south. Duke is going, uh, he's heading back to Fife and I'm heading over the bridge to East Lothian. <laughs> Gunkhorn Racing, number one. I'm going to try and catch Duke. Oh, and his slipstream. <laughs> the, worst, the worst possible things happened. Um, and oh, fuck. I'm in Dunfermline, all places in Fife, and I'm lost. What a nightmare. And they've put five markings on these signs so you can't see where anything is. That's a sure, sure sign of a trap. I'll be th Christ, I'm lost here as well. I don't know where the fuck we are now. Some fucking truck stop. There we go. Inverkeithen, 4th Road Bridge. Yeah, this is the way I came up, I'm sure. I think it is. Well, that's good. I have to ask somebody else for help, but that's alright. There we go. It's literally the, the Literally the first time I've seen the Bridges Bar, I can see the top of the Queen's Ferry Crossing. That's the fourth bridge with the train going over it, look. So I came under there, and I've had to go around this roundabout because I, I fucked up, but I'll show you. It's an easy mistake to make. So you come up here. Like 
says Oz. Yes. The old fourth road bridge. So there's a straight up benefit of riding a wee bike. There's one positive. Look, you can see down through them, through the bridge. Way down there. I've got the whole bridge to myself. <laughs> a good view of the fourth bridge. Good view of the Queensferry Crossing. time it is. When we last stopped for fuel it was half nine so it must be ten half ten now. The reason they closed it was because it had they found cracks. I think there's cracks or splits in all the all the the sort of wires that hold it up. So it was like pretty major so they closed that and then they, they built the Queensferry crossing over there. That one's been fine for ages. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking maddos sitting in the middle of the road. No rest for the arse. I must be about 11 at night now. Oh, it's raining. Fucking. It's raining ahead. I'm in the Fentlands. is flying along. It's done well, it's sad, but it's been 60, well 50 and 60 most of the way. Only a few hills fucking us up. I've felt safer in my life, I'll be honest with you. This isn't what I would class as a feel-good experience. It's flat out. It's literally needles flat and everything. Look! Cruising at 60 on the bypass. So today was uh, all in memory of old John Stanley, so John will be missed, he was a good lad, a good laugh, uh, and fucking mad as anything, it was great.